This uh, video is for a slider, and um, I uh, finally got around to building your uh, um, Walgreen tower, which is just a pill bottle. It's a plastic pill bottle with 30 gauge wire wrapped on it, and uh, it's got the uh, primary coil inside the pill bottle. It's two turns of this uh, heavier gauge wire. Uh, plastic coated wire inside the uh, the pill bottle and that forms the primary and the way uh, Slayer was, uh, or I'm sorry, Slider was doing this was he was running this on a uh, Slayer exciter circuit and it performed so well including plasma that I thought I'd better make one but I uh, I put it on uh, Dr. Stifler's circuit and what I did which was kind of uh, strange was I took the L1 and replaced that with the coil that's inside this Walgreen tower. That's what the slider calls this, is the Walgreen tower, because it's made out of a Walgreens pill bottle. But uh, yeah, and it worked. It uh, is incorporated inside the L3 coil, which is this coil right here. And the circuit is a Dr. Stifler circuit with modifications. And Johnny Davro did some modifications to it. And then I've been modifying it, and so has a slider, um, just to experiment around with what can be done with an exciter circuit. And I've added a variable capacitor right here. I went to a, um, a choke, a regular choke here. And then, like I say, the L1 uh, is inside the L3. And the reason I did this uh, and got away from uh, some of the other things is it runs on a AA battery all the way up to 12 volts. And a lot of the stuff I like to play with is very low voltage, low amperage, so I wanted it to happen. But uh, let me turn this on here. Uh, first of all, I've got Penny over here. And you can hear the radio kind of staticky. And there's an earth ground right here. This is not... Uh, uh, going into the house means ground. This is an earth ground. It goes to a stake outside the window there in the ground. And I use this as a an earthing ground. It's different than the house mains ground. So anyway, um, I have an AV plug here with just nothing open. It's just open-ended. And you notice that the penny's not running. So it's just sitting there. Earlier today, I had this running off of... Um, different things in the house that put out um, energy, lamps and whatever, and with that AV plug and this earth ground, I was able to run Penny, and that was an eye-opener to me, is that uh, we are bathed in uh, electromagnetic forces in our homes, and all of these lights and everything else, televisions and radios and everything, they give off a lot of energy, and she can pick it up if uh, she's wired right. Uh, let me show you this real quick. This is uh, the uh, the Walgreen exciter um, that I replicated. Turn it on here. And uh, that's running right now. And uh, the little tuning indicator is not on. I can make it go on if I want to, but I wanted to show you this real quick. This will actually make a, a neon go on. And that's running off a AA battery. Now, you notice that Penny's not running. But watch, if I hook up this earth ground to Penny, watch what happens. There she goes. She's on. And depending on how I adjust this exciter here, I can change the frequency on Penny. And I thought that was real interesting. Let me adjust this uh, variable capacitor right here. And I'll watch Penny. When it's on like that, she's running so fast you can't hear it on the radio. And that's when this thing lights up, that tuning indicator right there. And that's when this is on full blast and really putting out the energy. And you notice that Penny's eyes are just on bright. And this is pumping out a lot of energy. But it has to have the earth ground. 
and I found that very interesting. Let me uh, take this off and see she just winds right on down. If I put something else on here, I can make her go, but it's not the same as that earth ground. I can just touch this. But it doesn't go very well. Put the earth ground back on. And there she comes on bright. And that's being fed by this exciter. And um, this is something that Slider and I are working on. I don't know if anybody else is working on it. Is we're not going to be able to build a PSAC. He and I both have decided that, that we don't have the lab facilities, the equipment, and uh, we're not competent uh, enough to figure out how to do it. Um, you, you really need uh, the background and the facility to, t to run um, a program that would produce a PSAC that runs like Dr. Stifler's doing. But we can explore stuff like this. And I thought this was worth doing, and so did he, that using the earth ground and ambient energy that's in the house or around us, maybe we can get some stuff to work. And uh, when I found out that it will run off of the lights, and it will run off that light right there, and uh, all of these things, that just kind of opens up a whole new um, ball game for me. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with folks that uh, I'm still working on the, the SEC project along with other things. And uh, we'd love to get these to work off the crystal batteries, but uh, the crystal batteries I've made just don't put out enough energy, not enough power. Thanks for watching.